Today I'm gonna to be taking apart my son's entire early 90s dyno BMX bike and doing a complete makeover on it. It should be quite an adventure and I'm inviting you to come along with me. So we got this bike for my son. I believe it was for his 10th birthday. Uh, he needed a new bike and I wanted to surprise him with an old school BMX bike. So I reached out to uh, Jack at Bikerama, told him what I was looking for and surprisingly, he was able to find this bike and I was able to pick it up at a really good price for what it is. Um, it didn't look like this when I got it. It was in somewhat original condition, but I wanted it to look a little bit more like this. So we went and got uh, new wheels and tires for it. Uh, when I first did it, it had blue tires on it, but pretty recently my son popped one of those. And so we put these white ones on here. Um, you know, we changed the seat, we changed, you know, everything that looks custom, like all the blue and white stuff, uh, that was stuff that we added. So he's had it like this for the last few years. He's got a lot of enjoyment out of it and put a lot of miles on it, but it's starting to get beat up. It's starting to get dirty again. The chrome is starting to rust and I feel like it's time for, uh, for another makeover. And this time I wanna do something completely different with it and that's what we're doing today. Now let me say this before we get started. I know there's gonna be a lot of people in the comments saying I shouldn't do this to this bike. It should be left original. It's a survivor but there's really nothing that I'm gonna to do to this bike that can't be undone. If later we decide that we wanna go back to chrome, we can always re-chrome it. All the original parts that it had, I either have or I'll be keeping, so it's really not a big deal. The only thing that won't be original is the decals. Uh, you can get these on eBay. They won't be the original ones, but these ones are starting to crack and peel anyways, and I really wanna take care of this rust before it becomes a bigger problem. So again, if I wanna go back to the original look, it really won't be that big of a deal. And I think what I'm gonna be doing to this bike, at least the way that it looks in my head, it's gonna be really cool. Hopefully it turns out as cool as it looks in my head. Uh, okay, let's get going. Okay, so the first step is obviously taking it apart. Well, that was easy. Okay, so now I've got everything apart and the next step is to take the frame and the fork and whatever else over to the powder coating shop to get a little bit of color on it. So, let's do it. Okay, so I picked out the color, took some pictures of the parts just to be safe and everything should be ready in just a few days maybe about a week. Uh, now it's time to do the wheels. Uh, these are the wheels that I got for the bike uh, when I redid it the first time. And at the time, I was only able to find black mags, but I wanted white, so I painted these and it didn't last too long. Um, the paint pretty quickly started flaking off and yeah, they just, they don't look good at all now. Now this time around, I spent a little bit of money and uh, I got some some real white mags. And uh, like I said, they were a little pricey, but it's gonna look good, so it's worth it. Now, like I said, I had originally put blue tires on these wheels, but about a year ago, my son got a blowout and it actually put a hole in the, uh, in the blue tire. And then when I went to replace it at the time, they only had these white tires. I knew that eventually I was gonna be putting white tires uh, on the bike, so I went ahead and got these. Now we're gonna try and reuse these. They did get a little dirty. Uh, I already tried to clean them up a bit, but I'd like to get them a little bit cleaner. So I'm gonna try and get like some bleach white or something and see if I can get these. Um, I know I'm not gonna get them as white as they were when they were new, but I'd like to get them a little bit cleaner. But right now we're gonna head over to the bike shop and have them put these tires onto the new wheels. Now, the first time I did the refurbishment on the bike, one of the things that I did was I found this super cool, really 80s looking sprocket. And uh, I painted it white and then put some pink splatter on it. And I loved it. I loved the way it came out. And I, it turns out that that was one of my son's favorite parts of the bike too. Because when I first told him that I wanted to redo the bike again, he said no. 
And I was like, you, you don't want, you know, you don't want a new looking bike. And uh, he was like, no, cause I love that sprocket. So I want to keep that. And I thought that was really cool. That made me happy to know that he liked that sprocket so much. Uh, so I assured him that we would reuse the same sprocket, but I kind of lied to him because over the last couple of years, that pink splatter, I guess has faded in the sun and it started to turn more of like an orange color and I don't really like it. So I was going to try and get that old paint off and put a new splatter on it. But instead what I did was I just went out and I got a new sprocket. It's the exact same type. Um, so I just need to scuff this up, paint it white and uh, put a new splatter on it. This was like, this was really cheap, like less than 10 bucks. So I figured, you know, instead of going through all that trouble of trying to get the old paint off, this would just be easier. And then worst case scenario, if I, for some reason, mess this one up, I've got that old sprocket to fall back on. The first time I redid the bike, I put these blue grips on there and those ended up getting really nasty. So like a few months ago, I put some new uh, blue and white checkered grips on there and those look really good and they actually feel really good too. They just have this like, I don't know, they have a really good feel to them, but they don't really go with the new color scheme of the bike. So I went and got uh, these white grips. Uh, these are just like the blue ones that we put on the first time. They're white and they have like these little raised nubs on them. But I thought it might be cool to try and have these match the sprocket a little bit. So I want to try and put some pink splatter on these two, but just, just on the donut. So uh, I'm going to try and mask off this part, put a little splatter on there. I don't know how it's going to come out. Um, I've never, never done it on rubber like this. So wish me luck. Now for the pedals, the first time uh, I just put some white plastic pedals on there nothing special. Uh, and I thought that uh, we could reuse these. They're a little dirty, but other than that, they're fine. So I'm just going to try and clean them up and we'll reuse these. But I thought, you know what, maybe we can have these match with the sprocket and the hand grips and we can throw just a little bit of the pink splatter on these as well. So let's give it a try. All right, so I'm all done with the paint, and I gotta say, I love the way this sprocket came out. It looks so good, but not so much with the hand grips and the pedals. Uh, the hand grips are actually okay, but the pink is a little bit heavy. I really don't like the way the pedals came out. Uh, the pink is really blotchy. It was just hard to get it to spread evenly, uh, but I'll probably get used to the hand grips. I could always change the pedals later, but I do love that sprocket. All right, so I just got a call from the powder coating place and the frame is ready. So I'm on my way to pick it up and see how it looks. And there it is. The color looks awesome. Kind of hard to see because it's all wrapped in plastic, but here's the seat post. You can see when we bring this out here in the sun. Color looks really good. Once everything's put together, it's gonna look awesome. And my son's actually with me. You can see him up there. <laughs> I won't let him see the bike though. I told him he's not allowed to see it until it's all put together. So, all right, and that's the next step. All right, it's finally time to put this bike back together. I'm on my way to pick up the decals. They arrived at my mailbox yesterday and I just left the, uh, the powder coating place. I had uh, picked up the bike and I tried to put the seat post in and it turned out that the, uh, the powder coating on the seat post was a little too thick, which, you know, it's a good thing, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't slide into the frame anymore. So uh, I tried to fix it myself, but it was just, you know, it was just taken off the powder coating. So I took it back to the shop and they, uh, I guess they stripped down the post and they put a thinner coating on. Uh, it still looks good. It seems to go in a little bit better. I didn't, didn't put it in too far. But um, yeah, we'll see once we start putting it back together. Uh, worst case scenario, I might have to take it back to the shop again. But uh, I'm just, I'm excited to finally get this bike back together. All right, so as we're putting the bike together, I've created another small project. Uh, I didn't realize that 
the cups that go on the front of the bike here where you put the, the headset and the forks, um, I had not realized that these are black and I'd really like them to match all the new white parts that I'm putting on. So we're gonna scuff these up really quick. Luckily, uh, we had a can of white spray paint there and uh, we're gonna spray these. Hopefully they come out okay. This might be a little bit pointless because I'm using some of the original parts and those are black. Like if you look, the uh, the brake caliper there, that's black. I do have, I got some, uh, some white pads that we're gonna put on it. Okay, so the bike is all put back together and we're now very carefully putting on the decals. Now, I was too scared to do it. I've got way too shaky of a hand. Okay. So I've got my buddy doing it and I'm just kind of directing him on where to put the decals. Uh, and we ended up not painting those cups white. Instead, we sanded them down and polished them and I'm really happy with the way they came out. They look really good. And honestly, if we would have painted them, I mean, we were just asking for trouble. So polishing them was a much better choice. So the bike is finally done. It didn't come out exactly how I envisioned it, but it's pretty dang close. Check it out. So in the end, I'm actually pretty happy with how the, uh, the pink looks on the sprocket. The splatter came out good. I like the color. I hate the way that it came out on the pedals. I'm probably gonna end up switching out the pedals. That side looks a little better. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna end up switching those out. The hand grips, I'm not crazy about it, but they look all right. I mean, ultimately, my son's opinion is what matters. That one looks better, I think. I like the color on the bike. It came out good. Um, I'm not 100% happy with the decals. The color that I wanted, I wanted a little bit more of like a turquoise teal type color on the blue. Um, the pink is good. The pink actually matches with what I did on the sprocket. Just not loving the blue. Um, the cut on them and the size was a little bit off. And also um, they've got these weird little wrinkles in them that wouldn't come out. Like they're not super noticeable unless you get right up on it. Um, and they're not, they're not air bubbles. Like, I don't know. They, they just, they weren't done very well. But again, from, you know, from here, it looks amazing. One other thing that I'm not a hundred percent happy about, but again, I'm kind of, I'm being picky is that I did use some of the original parts like the, uh, the brake caliper and the headset here. So, it, you know, it doesn't match with all the new white parts that I put on it, but I wanted to leave some of those original parts. So, you know, it's not a huge deal. I still think it looks great. So now it's finally time for my son to see his new bike and see what he thinks, because again, his opinion is what really matters. But first, I think I want to take it for a little spin. Shh, don't tell my son. I'll let him think he's the first one to ride it. Ooh, no, no, not gonna do that today. Okay, I just got home with the bike, stopped off at the bike shop to have him do a safety check just because, you know, it is my son riding it, so I wanna make sure. So now it's time to get him and see what he thinks. Okay, you can open your eyes. What do you think? I like it. Are you happy? Yeah. Well, he's happy and that's all that matters. Wow. So that's it. Like I said, it didn't turn out exactly like I had envisioned it, but it's pretty dang close and my son loves it. And that's really all that matters. And if it turns out that one day he gets tired of it and he doesn't want it anymore, 
I think I know somebody that'll take it off his hands. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hey, hold on a second. Look at this. That's, that's not right. Hold on, I gotta fix this. Get off for a second. Psych!